Washington's going to take a shot. Up the seam, he's got Fuller. And he makes the catch. Looking, going to go long. Coleman down there, the rookie's there. Got it! Back to throw, good protection. Runs up out of the pocket. Run to the goal line. Leads it in. It's a touchdown. Week two is in the books. Now it's time to take a look at my rookie power rankings. Heading down from 10 to 6, you'll see the names there listed on the board. Jack Conklin at 10, Vernon Hargraves, Deion Jones steps into the mix, Sterling Shepard and Corey Coleman on the heels of a strong performance. But let's take a look at Sterling Shepard and how he impacted the game. Eight targets, eight receptions, 117 receiving yards. And what I like about him is he is doing his damage over the middle of the field. Great route runner, has outstanding hands. The Giants are finding a way to feature him with Odell Beckham Jr. and Victor Cruz on the outside. Teams are having to put their third cornerback on Shepard. He's wearing them out. That's why he's in the mix in my top 10. Now, let's take a look. Five through one, Ezekiel Elliott at five, Jalen Ramsey at four, Dak Prescott at three, Will Fuller continues to get it done for the Houston Texans at two, Carson Wentz with a phenomenal performance on Monday night, but the guy that catches my attention is Dak Prescott for the Cowboys. Young playmaker has come in and really stabilized the position for the Dallas Cowboys without Tony Romo and Kellen Moore, has come in and had outstanding pace and awareness, terrific accuracy, 22 of 30 for 292, didn't have a score, but look, the passer rating of over 103, had a rushing touchdown, does a great job of managing this offense. When the Cowboys get Tony Romo back, they're going to have a tough decision to make because it's going to be hard to put Dak Prescott on the bench. For more on my power rankings, make sure you check back each week. We're going to have them going. Let's see who finishes number one at the end of the season.